Namaste, everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from in5d.com and bodymindsoulspirit.com. And today we're doing a really special In5D Facebook Live. And I'm going to be talking about purging the shadow self, which has become pretty predominant um, lately. A lot of things are rising for people, and it's really important that we talk about this. So I just want to say a quick hi to David, Carl, D, Denise, DJ, Diane, Valerie, Robin, uh, everyone that's that's joining me right now. And I got to say, you know, this is so impromptu. I, I don't, I rarely ever let you guys know like a day ahead of time when I'm going on. Usually it's like within the hour and here I am. <laughs> and the thing is, the reason why I do that is because, you know, I, I come on when spirit guides me to come on. When there's something that has to come out, um, there's no planning that. You can't plan when spirit guides you to do something. So here I am. So I just want, and I, I see people are doing this already. Uh, they're uh, saying where they're from, and I absolutely love that. And I love when you guys are communicating with each other on the chat. And this time I actually can see the chat. The last time I couldn't see the chat. I could see when people were entering, but I couldn't see the chat that was going on. So I'm absolutely loving that. And yeah, like I said, uh, tell us where you're from. And uh and that way you can help create community within your own area. You'll find other people that are in your hometown and hook up with each other, you know, um, send a friend request to each other and get to know one another because this is what we're doing. It's part of my mission here, creating star family, bringing star family together. <laughs> this is what I do. Okay. So yes, uh, Byron, Jill, Tara Davis, Timothy, Marie, Tanya, Renee, Rosie, Neal. Namaste to everyone. I'm so grateful that everybody could be here on a Friday night. I know, you know, here we are, Friday night. What am I doing? Working. <laughs> but it's all good. And, you know, once, once I get done with this, I'll probably work all night until, you know, 12, 1 o'clock or whatever. But, uh, you know, this is, this is my life. This is what I do, and I love doing what I do. It's, this is much better than going out and having a few cocktails out on the town and all that crap. Been there, did that years ago, and you know we're in crunch time right now. So this is much more important than doing that, as far as I'm concerned. I just want to say hello to everybody that's joining me on the YouTube version of this that will be uploaded afterwards. But thank you for joining me as well. I can't believe that we have like almost a hundred people here. <laughs> it's just like totally unannounced. Um, and the thing is, I I really dislike making any time commitments. Um, it's it's like, you know, Jose Arguez said, you know, he, he when he went through the uh, Lord Pical's tomb, the Mayan um, elder, uh, the most important thing he got from that was to, that we should, we need to live without time. Ultimately, I mean, we should be on a harmonic calendar, a 13 moon calendar that's in synchronicity with nature. But, you know, the controllers have it, so it's everything's out of sync intentionally, of course, you know, so. But when the event happens, we won't have to worry about that because when the event happens, that's the end of time. Right now, we're looking at this galactic hourglass and the sands are dropping through and there's not a lot of sands left to go through there. So, um, like I said, when that last drain, uh, grain of sand drops through, the hourglass, that's it. We end time. That's when the event happens. That when that, that's when that white light flashes across the planet and everything changes. Um, and that includes the breaking down of the matrix. There's no more matrix left. So it's really exciting times that we live in. Uh, so hello to Kanoalani. <laughs> Gosh, from Hawaii. Uh, stay safe out there. Uh, Angela, Maria, Amber, Wayne. Susan, Timothy, Brian, namaste. I'm so glad you could all join me here this Friday evening for a Facebook Live. So let's see, what else do I have here? I've got a lot of stuff I want to cover. Um, oh, I wanted to give a shout out to Dr. Stacy LeClaire. Uh, she, 
I met her on the uh, her and her husband uh, John on the Monsters of Rock cruise a couple of years ago, and we've been friends since. And uh, we met up at a, a Cheap Chick concert um, last year. And uh, she, a special shout out to Stacy. She's a, a dentist, and she did some uh, uh, work for me today. Um, and she's just like a, a guardian angel that's out there. That's always has my back and I'm so appreciative of her and the work that she does. If you need a dentist in the Tampa Pinellas Park area, Dr. Stacy LeClaire is your gal. So um, yeah, and, and I can't express enough gratitude for, you know, just meeting her and her husband and they're just wonderful people. And I'm so grateful that um, they're in my life and for all the work that Stacy has done for me. Thank you, Stacy. Oh, I forgot to mention, she's also a QHHT practitioner. How cool is that? You have a dentist that's a QHHT practitioner. She's like, uh, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up, <laughs> but she's definitely being guided to do that. The problem is between her dentistry and uh, being a mom her husband, you know, and having a husband, um, it's hard to find the time to do the QHHT because it, as many of you guys know if you are a qhht practitioner you know you might see like an hour long video on youtube of somebody going under qhht but you don't understand the process that it takes it's a minimum of like a five a five hour process of you know getting the person under and getting the information out and so on and so forth and bringing them bringing them back so it's a, it's a lengthy process so it's hard to find the time to do that, but um, yeah, much gratitude to those who are out there doing that, such as Candace Croft, Goldman, and uh, Allison Co, and everybody else that that's that's doing the QHHT and bringing us these amazing messages. So let's see. In regard to uh, the shadow ban, um, I've encourage people to um, sign up for my email list but I noticed um, as of like a couple days ago they weren't actually sending out there's a minor glitch with MailPoet but don't stop signing up because they're working on it as we speak right now so um, those those emails will be going out and uh, that's the, your best way to get um, to, to stay updated with in 5d because obviously um, I can put an, an article out on N5D, and I, I put it out one out today about al alternative social media websites uh, that you can you can go to, and um, I included a picture on there of an article that I had posted the day before. I think it was about um, walk-ins, and uh, I posted it like 11 hours beforehand, and there was only I think like 11, out of the, the 417 plus thousand people that follow in 5 only it only reached 1100 people that's 0.003 percent 0.003 percent of the people that it reached so obviously a lot of us in this genre are getting shadow banned we're not allowed to get our message out there so I highly encourage you to number one sign up for the email list because I reach more people via the email subscriber list than I do on Facebook with 400,000 followers. And number two, like and share. Uh, help me get that uh, the word out there. You know, please help me, uh, you know, share the articles on your Facebook page as well and like them as well. I need to turn on the fan because I'm sweating again. I'm also going to turn the AC down. <laughs> okay. Gosh, we got people from Australia. Hello, Lisa Sutherland Fraser from Melbourne, Australia, and Bradenton. Uh, neighbors here, uh, Donna Sanford from Bradenton, heading to Orlando, moving further away from us. Um, actually, be careful. It's going to get cloudy and rainy uh, this weekend up there. Will Holly and Jill, Isaac, Bettina, everybody that's joining me right now. So grateful. <laughs> you have no idea. Thank you. Okay, so um, there's a lot of things I want to cover here too. Um, 
for, you know, I'm always looking for new writers here at in5d.com and we have so, so many amazing writers that I'm so grateful to have. And, uh, you know, they, they send me their articles whenever spirit guides them to, and I don't accept every article, obviously, but for, uh, the people that have sent them in and have had their articles published, uh, thank you. And, uh, I look forward to receiving more from them and welcoming new writers as well. So if you have any articles that you'd like to help and share, get out there, uh, to get out there and help people with this awakening movement, uh, send your articles to my article at in5d.com. And if you have anything about the new earth, I have a separate email for that because I also have the new earth news on in5d. So that one would be uh, new earth at in5d.com. And I'm always looking for like, you know, people that are, and it could be anything, you know, typically I don't publish channeling, but I will publish channeling on the new earth news. If you have something that you've channeled from the new earth that I will do. So I'm, I'm ex uh, exploring different boundaries, I guess, um, with the, uh, with new earth, but I'm always looking for, um, new articles to showcase and to put people out there and to help them promote themselves as well as their website. So make sure you include a bio at the end of your article. Okay. Okay. The last thing I want to cover before I jump into everything is, um, I posted last night, um, about this new social media website. It's called on stellar. And some people are having a hard time getting on there and they're asking for a referral code, which I've provided, but some people are saying it's not working from what I understand though, is you don't, if you leave that blank, you can, you can still get in there. So, um, you don't necessarily have to have that referral code from what I understand, but once you get in, just type in N5D, um, in the search bar and you'll see my name and then you'll see the group. So feel free to friend me as well as join our N5D group there. Cause we're going to reach a lot more people on, um, on stellar than we are on Facebook. Facebook is a dying breed. Yeah. And I'm saying that on their platform right now, you are, you Facebook are a dying breed. <laughs> you will be the MySpace. You will be the dinosaur of social media as other medias, um, take over. So, uh, please join me on, on stellar and, uh, Let's, uh, cause this, this to me, Facebook is like 3d on stellar is like 5d, you know, you don't want to get left behind. Go to on stellar. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Rosie says she's an old fashioned kind of girl. Uh, yeah, you're old fashioned, but you still get it. You, you're really old fashioned. <laughs> Rosie's a really old soul. I'm not busting on her for her physical age. I'm busting on her for her spiritual age. I know how old she is. This segment is brought to you by 10 pH water. Once again, I joke, I, <laughs> I, I don't sponsor them, but I love this water. As a matter of fact, I gave uh, Stacy one of these today. So I hope she enjoyed it as well. Oh, that's so yummy. Yeah. Best water ever. They should pay me. <laughs> But honestly, I, I don't need to because it is. I'm, I'm just speaking from the heart. This is amazing water. I absolutely love it. So, so let's get into it. Greetings to everyone who just joined and that is watching on the recorded version. Um, so purging the shadow self. This is interesting. The last couple nights, I'll go outside and as many of you know, yeah, I do smoke. I'll have a cigarette. I smoke organic um, American spirit gold. And I'll go outside. And the last couple of nights, I saw the same couple across the street arguing. I mean, shouting at each other. And of course, you know, I'm looking at everything metaphysically. Why is this coming into my life? Why am I observing this? Why did I agree to this co-creation of having somebody arguing across the street? But what's happening is you know, I needed to see it for myself because I'm not really experiencing it as much or as drastically as others, but I know a lot of people are going through it. I can feel that empathically. And, uh, you know, the, what's happening is we're, we're seeing this purging going on of the shadow self and a lot of things are coming up and a lot of things are coming out. And 
trust me, I'm not impervious to this either. Uh, Michelle and I broke up at the end of March, you know, so it's, it's happening to all of us. It's just a matter of how you end up dealing with it and understanding why these things are happening. So what a lot of people are going through, you know, and you thought you went through the dark night of the soul. Well, guess what? <laughs> it might be happening again, but don't look at it as a bad thing. Because if you've been through it before, you know that you're going to end up on top and that it's all happening for a reason and that, you know, certain things are being need to be purged right now and just understand why it's happening. OK, and know that you're not alone. Everyone's going through some kind of purging right now. You're nobody is impervious to this. Everyone's going through something. It's just a matter of how extreme it can be for some versus others. A lot, some people are going through a hell of a lot more than what I'm going through. And I'm not a super empath, I'm empathic, you know, as everyone is, but I, I tend to feel a bit more than more, most people, but I'm not that super empath that gets the whole, you know, the magnification of everything more so than others. So one of the things that you'll see, um, you, there's certain signs that, that you'll see that happen to certain people, you know, and you'll see either in other people or yourself as well. Um, and one of them is controlling. Now, are you a controlling person? In psychology, uh, when you control other people, it usually means that there's something within yourself that's out of control, or there's something in your life that's out of control. Um, and that's why you, you end up uh, controlling other people and you know, basically to deflect your own insecurities or the issues that are going on within you. So that's, that's one of the signs, um, and that's going to be coming up. That's one of the things that needs to be purged. Um, if you ever catch yourself saying, you need to, that's, that's a sign. That's a sign. Don't, you know, when, you'll never hear me say that, or extremely rarely, rarely. The only time I'll say that is when it ultimately has to come out, and I have a hard time saying it anyway. But, you know, if I saw this amazing movie, I would say, you know what? I would not, I'd never say, you need to watch this movie, never ever. But I would say something like, I saw this really cool movie and I think you'd dig it. And uh, you know, if you get the chance to check it out, that's a, a more <laughs> polite way of putting it out there and um, without telling somebody they need to, because nobody needs to do anything. Everyone's doing exactly what they need to do. So, um, but that's just one of the signs to look out for, um, the controlling thing, because in 5D Earth, there is no control. There's no person that's standing over the other person saying, you need to. You already know what to do, okay? So controlling, yeah, that's got to go. And that's just, once again, it's, it's, it's a, a positive thing. If you, even if you catch yourself saying, you need to, it's an opportunity to move beyond it, saying, okay, okay, I see this. I see what's happening. This is one of the lessons I'm, I'm trying to learn and, and get over. So uh, don't control other people, okay? Also, it could be something that you, you, you fear within yourself. Your life might be out of control too. It might be a warning sign telling you that your life is out of control. There's something out of control within your life. So um, look at it from every angle possible <laughs> too. Because everything that's coming up is coming up for a reason, and um, you have that opportunity to overcome everything. So, <laughs> PJ saying where to get the water. You can go online uh, to, I think it's just Alka Life, A L K A L I F E, or just put in 10 water, and they have uh, places that you can find the store locations for that. Yeah, and yes, it is, Denise, it's better than Fiji, in my opinion, much better. It's the best. There's there's not a second place on water, as far as I'm concerned. This is the best water you can have, period. Absolutely. Um, it just tastes delicious. It's almost a, a, a tinge of sweetness in it, but it's not sweet. It's hard to explain. You just got to try it, okay? <laughs> Fiji has a lot of fluoride. It wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me either if it does. You know, I've always liked Fiji too. I didn't know that about the fluoride. So the next thing you want to look out for are energy vampires. And these are people who intentionally cause conflict 
in order for them to be the savior, you know, to come back and, oh, I can help you on that. Uh, big red flag. Um, but if you're intentionally stirring shit, <laughs> knock it off because, you know, this is going to come back at you anyway. Well, somehow, some way. Um, you don't want to be a shit stirrer. <laughs> okay. Don't be a drama queen or a drama king. You know, um, just get into that zone. Just be namaste all your life, you know. Put out, put out that positive energy. Um, and we see this in like a lot of governments and, and, and personal relationships, you know, where, where there, it's like a vampiric energy relationship where like with governments, they, they it's, you know, what is, what is David, I call that problem reaction solution where they create the problem, we have the reaction and they already have the solution long before we create the, re the reaction. <laughs> Um, that's, that's what it's basically like, you know, it's a energy vampiric kind of relationship and be cautious of people that are constantly asking, Oh, please send me energy or send energy to this one person. And they're constantly saying that all the time, please send this person energy. We want to help as many people as possible, but just have your guard up too about what's really going on. If the, one person's constantly asking for your energy, constantly there's something not right about that okay so just be on your guard about people that are asking for energy all the time you know ultimately just ask source go to source directly get it there's an abundance of it out there okay but trying to be an energy vampire and getting it from other people just not right and it's it's a red flag so heads up on that um Bethany's saying, are you an Aquarius? I'm an air sign, like Aquarius. I'm a triple Libra. <laughs> Lisa's saying, the energies have been physically brutal lately. I agree. Lots of naps going on. And Maria Allura Moon is saying, you've been on my Facebook friend list for years, and this is the first time I've actually saw you and heard what you are saying. And once again, that boils down to the whole shadow banning thing. You know, I've got like... 11,000, almost 12,000 followers on my personal Facebook page, over 400,000 followers on the M5D page. I'm not reaching anyone because it's just going out into the void. You post something and it goes out in the void. Like today, I think I posted maybe five or six articles between body, mind, soul, spirit and N5D.com. But chances are most of you didn't see any of them because it just, I'll post it and it goes out into the void. So that's why I encourage going to on stellar because there is no void there. So jump on there and you won't miss a thing or get on my email list on in 5d and you won't miss a thing either. And Jody Rose is saying, yep, went through the dark night once again in March and April felt, felt so much lighter. Now I said, I've given up control and just let be and flow and not attach expectations. Perfect. Good for you, Jody. So that, that's a perfect example of, uh, you know, what, what we're supposed to be doing is, you know, you're going to go through this stuff and learn from it. It's an opportunity, you know, and it's a blessing really in the end. These are important things that have to come up and need to be purged and cleansed. So gosh, I, I don't know which way I'm going here on the chat. I'm probably so far behind. <laughs> oh, I see a friend from my hometown, Kathy Shea. Hi, Kathy. Glad you could join us. Okay. Um, I think I'm scrolling the wrong direction. <laughs> I'm so far behind on the, on the chat. I'm trying to keep up with you guys. So the last thing I was talking about was energy vampires, you know, and, uh, you know, the people that are, asking for energy or having other people do their bedding for them, you know, just big red flag on that. So, um, they're constantly doing it. There's nothing wrong. If you have, if you're feeling down and you you're looking for a little energy up upgrade from and help from others, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just the people that are constantly doing that. You know, that that's the ones you have to look out for. Okay. So, um, the next thing is the 
would be the dark magicians that are out there. And you see a lot of them, and they're hiding. Many of them are hiding on spiritual websites that sound and look spiritual, but they have their own little cults within them. And you got to be very careful about who you follow. You know, I've tried to expose as much as I can without actually coming out and publicly naming names, um, with the exception of a few that have intentionally attacked me or my website. Uh, but, you know, the cream will always rise to the top. And uh, like, for example, you know, this whole QAnon thing is exposing the pedophilia cults and so much more. Um, you know, I know some people don't want to follow Q and, uh, and I respect that. But the way I see it, QAnon is a reflection of the global consciousness that's going on. And uh, what we're seeing is this awakening going on as more and more truths are coming up with Pluto and Capricorn. We're going to continue seeing that up right up through until the year 2023. Hopefully something happens before that anyway. But this is the truth energy that's going on. The truth energy is so predominant right now. And you want to stay within that energy and uh, everything will be fine. And if you're not, it's going to come up regardless of whether you think it's going to or not. The truth is always going to surface. So, and, you know, and that includes not, not just these pedophile, pedophilia rings, but any other of these cults. You know, the, the truth energy is going to come up, and this is exactly where we're at. So some of the signs that, that we're looking for here on, you know, the purging of the shadow self do you feel like your life is falling apart? A lot of people do. A lot of people are going through a really tough and difficult time right now. And it's not easy, but we're, we're, we're all working through, you know, various aspects of our shadow selves right now. And it's so much more difficult for some than it is for others. And I, I feel your pain. I do. Um, it hasn't been as bad for me. I, I think because the universe wants me to keep focusing on, you know, bringing the message to you via N5D and Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit. But um, yeah, I'm going through it too. Everyone is. And uh, it's it's not easy, but we'll, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Um, another sign is, does it feel like somebody is putting a spell on you? You know, does it feel like somebody's using some kind of black magic on you? I know I've, I've heard that from other people that, you know, they feel like they're getting energetically attacked by others. And I'll talk a little about, a bit about that too, because ultimately, um, if you're getting attacked by somebody else, I almost feel worse for the people or pers persons or people that are doing that to other people at this point in time. And I'll talk a little about, bit about that in a minute. Um, it might feel like you have some kind of energy attachment going on. One thing, you know, here's, a good example if you go to a bar the number one place where these negative entities are going to hang out is right above the door where you enter and exit and they're just waiting for you to leave once you have those gates open within you after you've had a few cocktails that that's like a welcome sign to them you know dive right in here i am so just be careful you know if you go to a bar you know it's okay to have a cocktail now and then you know I'm, i i do that but don't get totally inebriated and always make sure that you have some kind of protection um, spiritually, especially if you go out. Um, another sign is uh, paranoia, you know, thinking that everyone's out to get you or, um, you know, thinking that the world is against you and all this stuff. You know, everything that we bring in, we bring to ourselves, you know, and, you know, there's no finger pointing needing, needed except at ourselves. Uh, because th we've welcomed in certain experiences that we wanted to experience and learn from and just be grateful actually you know of the lessons that we have learned also keep in mind that you know a lot of things that happen to us we've done in previous lifetimes to others and right now if some people are saying karma is done with no it's like instant super karma right now um, and it's amazing to watch because, you know, if you're of a high vibration and you're putting out that love energy, it's coming back. That love karma is coming back at you. But if you're doing like negative things to people and um, dark magician kind of stuff, and 
I feel really bad for those people because that's going to be coming back at them tenfold or worse. And you're going to know these people, they're going to stick out like sore thumbs. Um, these people that are um, playing with dark energies. So um, as long as you, you know, and even though you're going through the purging right now of the shadow self, that's a positive thing. As long as you're not hurting other people and, uh, you know, you're making steps for moving forward, helping yourself, that's a positive thing. So don't worry about this, the purging part. Just be a good person, <laughs> okay? <clears throat> Let's see, uh, and then sickness, you'll notice too, you know, a lot of people are getting sickness, but there's a positive and a negative side of the sickness. Some of the sickness might be, the positive side would be the ascension flu. And many of us have gone through that, but what we're actually getting is a, uh, an upgrade. Uh, Todd Davini was talking about this in his interview yesterday on Soulology with Todd Medina um, about how a lot of us are, have gone through this. And these are, uh, you know, upgrades that we are getting through the ascension flu. Of course, you might also have the negative side of, of, of the sickness, which would be the nausea. And that's like the, the purging, you know, uh, there's like crap that needs to get out of you. And if, you, if you're just putting out all this negative stuff, that nausea is not going to leave. You're going to have this perpetual nausea until you learn how to get your act together. So um, positive and negative. It's, we're still in polarity. We're still in duality. So these are things that have to be address and this is why it's so important that i did this um facebook live right now because a lot of us are going through many of these things and uh i just want you to know you know that you're not alone and that there are uh, ways of um, looking at things and getting around it and uh ending up on top uh, susan ellis is saying yes truth is rising listen why doesn't everyone hear not everyone's ready to hear Denise is saying that sometimes her relationships with her daughter are not good right now. Uh, I hope that picks up, um, but there's there's things that are going on energetically that maybe she's not ready for some things that you're putting out there and vice versa. And just love, forgive, accept. You know, it, it'll work out in the end. Give her her space, though. Uh, thank you, Jill. I love you, too. Uh, Mary says she's an introverted Leo. That's interesting. You wouldn't think of a Leo being introverted. You know, the Leos are usually more extroverted. My daughter's a Leo. She's she's an extrovert. I don't know how I raised an extrovert. <laughs> but yeah, but my, I, well, actually I do because, you know, me being a triple Libra, my air feeds her fire. <laughs> so I can totally understand. Hey, Sean. Cohen, who's a magnificent psychic. If you ever need a psychic reading, I highly recommend Sean. She brought my sister to me after shortly after my sister passed and did a wonderful reading for me. So hi, Sean. Yes, Mike Capo, drinking spirits, spirits opens doors. I totally agree with that. And Maria Allura Moon says, that's why they make vampire movies in nightclubs. That's why they have a lot of crap at the movies. You look at like what's playing at the theater right now. It's like all fear-based, just, just like all the crap that you see on TV. I'd much rather take my night vision goggles and watch UFOs than <laughs> anything on TV or anything at the theater. Yeah, it's just a bunch of crap. I'd much rather go to my YouTube subscription list and watch something on there than anything on TV or in the theaters, definitely. Yes, it's called booze and spirits for a reason. Definitely agree. So Camille's watching from Sedona. I love Sedona. There's a, a special place in Boynton Canyon. It's off the beaten trail, but it, there's a mesa there. And I, I've, I've got it marked on like a road map where I could show you where it is, but it, it, and I know energy moves too, but this was only a few years ago, but I, I, I was drawn to go to Boynton Canyon, but I was, as I was leaving, I was drawn to pull over to the side of the road, maybe a mile or two from the main spot where everyone goes. And I walked up and found this plateau. And I, once I got to that plateau, the hair on my arms was just standing up and it, it was electric. 
the energy there was just like off the charts on how can not how can people not know about this it's absolutely amazing and I, i'm really looking forward to going back there sometime would love to go back to sedona and especially boynton canyon that one spot and just meditate there and maybe bring a couple crystals with me and charge them up that'd be really cool so uh, Denise says she has the ascension flu. A lot of us have, gosh, we've gone through that. So I, I, I feel your pain. I definitely do. I think I'm so far behind here. Um, waiting towards Sedona from Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful there. And uh, yeah, eventually I'd like to make it out there. You know, the, ideally, I guess this would be my 5D Earth. It would be Sedona with Siesta Keys Beach. So you got the mountains and the beach, the quartz crystal sand beach. That'd be perfect. And lots of palm trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, so I was talking about empaths and super empaths. And once again, we have the, like the positive and the negative thing that's going on. And the positive ones, you know, they're, they're helping to transmute the energies right now, especially with a lot of us that are uh, going through these, um, the purging of this, the shadow self. So these super empaths, you know, I, I tip my hat to them, uh, the ones that are doing the positive work of helping to transmute these energies. Thank you for everything you're doing for all, everyone, and for humanity. But then you have like these super empaths that are not so positive and some are feeling the result of all the harm that they've done against humanity. You know, these uh, super empaths that are working with dark magic and stuff like that, they're going to feel it and it's going to manifest in various ways with them. And if you feel like you've been a target of any of these dark magicians, there's nothing you have to do because all this stuff is getting reflected back at them through this super karma process that you don't have to, you don't have to wish negative things on anyone. And why would you want to anyway? But for those people that are putting out all this negative stuff, you know, the, the dark cabal, anyone in these cults or whatever, you know, they're, they're, they're going through a really rough time right now and they're panicking. There's a lot of panicking going on because whatever they've done, to humanity is now coming back at them tenfold at a minimum. So um, if you're a good person, just keep doing what you're doing. Ride out, ride this, ride the wave out with us, you know, and uh, we'll all make it through fine. Okay. So what I see this as, like I said, this is an opportunity um, that's being reflected back, you know, for it's an opportunity right now for us to overcome whatever it is we're doing, but it's also an opportunity for even the dark magicians out there that are getting the shit reflected back at them. This is their last call. You know, they're getting bitch slapped in the face right now. And, uh, <laughs> you know, there's, you know, Gaia is saying, you know, if you don't wake up, this is it. You're either going to be reconstituted or, you know, you, well, you still have a chance. That's what I'm saying. I think everyone still has a chance. You know, he, at least if, I don't know, if, you know, some of these dark people are gonna actually make it to 5D Earth, but they might have a chance of, you know, when, when the event happens to at least stay in a third dimensional Earth that doesn't have this crap that's going on and still be able to progress versus if they continue the path they're going, they're just gonna get reconstituted. This is it for them. Last call. <laughs> so. You know, that's, that's, that's what we're looking at. And it's going to get, it's going to get worse for those people that are um, playing with these dark energies. And I, I feel, I honestly do feel badly for them, but you know, this, I wish that upon them that they can learn from this process and uh, turn their energies to the positive. We want to bring along as many people as possible. That's why we're seeing a lot of these, you know, the dark cabal, they're, they're choosing to go, to go down swinging. You know, they've already said, okay, screw it. 
you know, we've done all this, you know, spirit, what is that called? Spirit cooking or whatever. And we killed so many people that there really is no hope. And they are going to go down swinging right to the end. And uh, we've got to move beyond it. Um, and it's really important not to stay so much. That's, you know, I find the whole QAnon thing fascinating. Don't get too wrapped up in it. Uh, he's not your savior. Okay. I'm not your savior. You are your savior. Okay. We all, we're all our own saviors. Uh, don't put anybody on that pedestal. None of us are any more important than the other person, you know, just because I had you know, 400,000 followers and 37 million views on my YouTube channel doesn't mean it's any more or less important than a person that has one video that's reached 30 people on their YouTube channel. We're all in this together. Nobody's any more important than anyone else. Okay. Please understand that. So there's no need for retribution if you feel like you're getting attacked or you feel like somebody's negative energy is just like, it's all, that's that instant karma that I've been talking about. Um, and it's, it's all going to be coming right back at them. So work on yourself. Don't worry about all this external crap that's going on. And like I mentioned in the last video, you know, according to uh, Allison Co from her previous video, she was recommending that you invest at least 25% of your meditation time into 5d earth envisioning what that 5d earth is going to be that's where we need to really focus our main thoughts and intentions of course we're going to be working through the purging of the shadow self right now but still find time to put that those thoughts and intentions out there what is it you want to manifest and get as creative as possible as you, you know all these beautiful things that you can think of um, it, it's really important that we, we do that right now Oh my gosh, I got so many. I'm so far behind. Suzanne Ellis is saying, Greg, you speak what I think in my head. I'm so happy I found you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. Hi, Kim, Sutherland, Higgs, Danny, Bridget, Craig, Will. <laughs> Will is a Siesta Key local. Hey, brother. There's a reason why we're here. We're holding down the energies on this 99.9% .9 quartz crystal sand. Love it. I'm so grateful, actually, you know, for everybody who are exactly where you are. Thank you for holding down the energies. We are the grid. And if you think of everybody as holding a candle and you can see the candles all throughout the world, you're going to see the whole world lit up as the grid is being lit up from all of our energies being exactly where we need to be right now. So thank you, everybody, for being exactly where you are and doing the work that you're doing right where you are right now. Thank you. <laughs> Cynthia's body is vibrating. That's awesome. Good energy. Yeah. Uh, Danny Ray Moss, can you share your views on energy implants? How do you get rid of them? There are a lot of people that are skilled at helping you get rid of them. You know, the person I would recommend is Eric Rains. I'm sure he has a lot of clients. Ultimately, this is my belief, Danny, that um, if you can maintain a high vibration for 24 to 36 hours, there's no attachment that can stay with you that long. So, you know, in, in that time period, you know, basically just disassociate yourself from everybody. Work on you know, yourself. Um, listen to uh, ambient music. Do a long walk of gratitude. Um, ground a lot, um, ground and meditate for like 24 to 36 hours, eat good food, put positive energy into your body. And uh, ultimately you can get rid of them yourself. And uh, then ask for protection from your guides and angels to make sure that they stay away. That's what I would recommend. Hope that helps. The Pleiadians say only take alcohol as tinctures. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I found um, there's a new Jack Daniels. It's Jack Daniels honey. I love Jack Daniels honey, uh, but I don't drink it to excess. I'll have like one or two drinks on a rare occasion, and that's it. Uh, but yeah, you guys already knew that because I put out a, a post on the 20 things you might not know about me. And yeah, on occasion, yeah, I do drink, I smoke. I eat uh, organic meat, 
I'm, I'm not perfect. Please don't put me on a pedestal. <laughs> but yeah, but my third eye is wide open. I still get visions. Um, it just goes to show you, you know, follow your own inner guidance. To, you know, you can listen in, to anyone. Um, but listen to yourself first and then other people just for confirmation maybe. But, you know, you are your own gods and goddesses. And we're all going to make it through this together. I'm so behind on the chat. I'm so sorry. See, I'm, I'm looking at a comment. We are the candles. Yeah, I said that like, what, 10 minutes ago? <laughs> You're right, Allah. My capo is saying the sun gaze at dawn and dusk. That's helped him. Hey, gosh, I was up. To, I did the sun gazing thing. I was up to the 45 minutes that was recommended by HRM, the the, the, old, the guy, the, the foremost person on the sun gazing. I loved it. It was it was great, but I haven't done it in a long time. So Nicole's saying she has a Metatron's cube crystal grid at home. I'd like to see a picture of that. <laughs> yes, Danny, I called on you. <laughs> Just trying to get caught up on the chat. PJ Fay is saying, can you talk about the body vibrations? Lately it's happened more often. And sometimes hard to discern what it means, a good sign or not, very different these days. A lot of people are going through that and they're feeling that that body body vibration thing. I think it, I think it's a it's a resonance personally of being upgraded, it's it's a physical sign of the upgrade that you're receiving. So, you know, as, as you're getting that vibration, what is a vibration? Energy. So you're getting this energy upgrade and you're feeling it. I, I get something a little different on occasion and it's hard, it's hard to describe. It's like for a brief second, I hear this like an electrical sound in my head and things go dark and they come right back again and you know no, it's not an aneurysm <laughs> but it's some kind of energy upgrade and it's a vibration energy upgrade but it's in my head and i hear this literal kind of sound so yeah it's a positive thing so if you're getting those um, vibrations go with it yeah thank you universe right Cynthia Myers, crown maple is good too. I, somebody said there's a maple, I think Jim Beam, but I don't like Jim Beam. Suzanne Ellis, yes, the dark energy. Yikes, Hawaii has too much. Now we have floods, eruptions, land being taken back by the ocean. Shouldn't we be heading to nature's hence? Shouldn't we be heeding to nature's hence? Well, yeah, yeah Lemuria. Um, right now is um, she's making her stand and mother earth and this it's not just Hawaii you know she's been calling out and it, this is the, this is basically the I hate to use this terminology it's but it's a positive thing it's it's the bloody show of pregnancy it's you know it's what happens before you birth the new earth so um, it's a lot of positive things that are going on and these are our signs that we're getting really, really close. And Nicole is saying Lemuria is rising. That's why Hawaii is erupting. Exactly, Nicole. You see how far behind I am on this? Gosh. <laughs> Uh, Mike Cap was talking about the Schumann resonance spikes, and um, yeah, there, there, there's that Schumann resonance map um, provided on a Russian website, and you'll see at times it's like big blocks of white, 
And, you know, it makes you wonder, you know, just like, you know, what happens when the event happens where the, the planet gets flooded with white light? Are these indicative of waves of energy when we see these big patches of white on the Schumann resonance? I think so. I think it is. Beth? saying i'm hearing a pulsating sound during your video wow <laughs> you're getting an upgrade just from watching this that's awesome i've been told by a couple psychics as well as on my galactic download that i got from creator source that people get uploaded they get well they get downloads from me they get uploads as well um, but they have to hear and see me and I'm like, you got the wrong person. I'm an introvert. I don't want to put myself out there. And they're like, no, you're the voice of the introverts, basically. That's what, what I've come to understand, at least. And that's why I have to have to do it. But I've been told by several people that I have to put myself out there. There's codes that you're getting from this mess of how I look and my voice and whatever. So it is what it is. And I reluctantly, reluctantly accept it. And I do mean reluctantly. It's not easy for an introvert to do this. I'm, gosh, I hope I'm not scrolling too fast and missing anything. Uh, Danny, <laughs> yes, I'm speaking to you once again. <laughs> Danny Ray Moss. What can we do for the super sleepy effects of upgrading? Got things I got to do. <laughs> Go with it. Let it happen. I've been a huge proponent of if you're tired, go to sleep. If I'm with a woman and she says, Greg, I'm tired. I need to take a nap. I'm not going to say, oh, just stay up and do this with me. No, no. You just do what you got to do. You know, If you need to go to bed at 7 o'clock at night, do it. Listen to your body. I've always been a huge proponent of listening to your body. And if your body's telling you to um, to take a nap, do it. Get that. Get those upgrades. My body's telling me I need more water. Ah, Rose Hughes is saying that her meat consumption has dramatically decreased. All I want to eat is vegetables. I think this is in relation to ascension process. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. I've, I've been the same way. I've cut back immensely on meat lately. I used to eat it probably four or five times a week. Now it's maybe once or twice. You know, so I've cut back big time on eating meat, especially pork. I, that's something, you know, maybe occasionally bacon. On a rare occasion, but hardly any pork. Usually chicken, fish, or occasionally a steak. Okay, Craig Glass is saying, I've been having these experiences with my eyes. It's like there's purple and red colors flashing through my vision. And it's like my vision goes during this time. Could this be related to 5D energies? It sounds like, you know, that's that's exactly, well, I, I would see the purple. I didn't necessarily see the red colors, Craig, when, um, right before my third eye opened. But um, what happened was I saw these like swirling purplish white colors and then if you can stay in that alpha state while you're observing this what's going to happen is eventually you're going to start seeing the outlines of images and they're going to become clearer and clearer and sometimes it'll be like watching a movie will be that clear um, and that's what happens when you open your third eye so it sounds like you're on the verge of opening your third eye Craig so try to get into that alpha state and go with it and see where that leads you, okay? 
<laughs> Linda says she's an extreme introvert too. I found that approximately 85% of the people that follow in 5D, I've done, I've done polls on this, we're introverts. Um, and you can take the personality test and you know, I'm an INFP. The I stands for introvert, N stands for intuitive, F stands for feelings, and I forgot what the P stands for. I should know this because I take it every year. Sometimes I take it twice a year. And, you know, I am a psychology major. I, I was a child and family therapist before I started doing the website full time. And uh, I've been taking this personality test ever since I was in college. And every year, same thing, INFP, <laughs> introvert. It's surprising. I have, I have an article on N5D. It's called The Spiritual Side of Rock and Roll. It's an article I wrote, and you'd be surprised who, how, how many um, spiritual musicians there are that are introverts. So we're a growing population. And what I find, too, is that, you know, the introverts, we're not going to ask other people, what is, what is it, you, I'm going through this, what are you doing? We're going to look within ourselves first. We're going to go within for the answers, you know, and we're not going to try to draw the attention to ourselves. You know, it's, 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 it's an inward process for the introvert. And I've always said that, you know, if, if there's a party going on, and this is a big ballroom, right? I'm going to be in one of the corners of that ballroom watching everybody. I will not be in the center anywhere near the center of it. You know, that's, that's, you know, that's what we do is actually I probably wouldn't even be at the party. Number one, that much of an introvert, but, um, but if I had to go, I would, <laughs> I would be in one of the corners just watching and observing everyone. <laughs> I got to laugh too about this one show that, um, on N 5d radio that I, I had with, uh, my, my good friend, Kendra. Uh, she was my co-host, Kendra Gilbert. And we did a show. Was it with Kendra? It might have, it might have been Heidi. Heidi Cole. I forgot which one it was now. But we did a show on introverts. And nobody called in. <laughs> I mean, why would they? They're introverts. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <clears throat> And we had a bunch of people because you could see how many people were there. We had a bunch of people listening, but nobody would call. <laughs> oh gosh, I am so far behind. Now I'm just starting to see the you know the personality test. Like uh, Mary Murphy's an INFJ, and there's Kendra right there. <laughs> I just saw she joined us. Hi, Kendra. I love you. Introvert here, the psychedelic sheep of the family, says Trampus. <laughs> Kendra says, introvert here, my alabaster skin is proof I don't leave my home. <laughs> she has to be the whitest Floridian I've ever seen when she was living here in Florida. <laughs> and I would tease her that she had alabaster skin. So Sabrina is saying that she's on the border of ENFP and INFP. Yeah, that, that, and I understand that. That's called an ambivert, um, where it's almost a balance. You can go either way. And many of us introverts, we can, we can be extroverted. Like if you had a sales job or something like that, um, you can go out there and sell if you had to, uh, or, you know, be extroverted at times, you know, being in front of and with other introverted people, We'll find ways to talk to each other. It's not that we're antisocial or anything like that. But given the choice of being extroverted or introverted, we're going to be the introverts. I love you too, Kendra. So Heidi's saying, Gerg. <laughs> I know she meant Greg. Greg, how do you reconcile eating flesh 
with the fact that sentient beings are being killed without giving their permission to take their life. I do crave meat sometimes and I can't bring myself to eat it. I'm interested in your opinion and thoughts. Well, Dolores Cannon spoke about that and Todd Devaney uh, spoke about that last night too. And I totally agree with both of them. When you ingest meat, it's giving that animal the opportunity to experience humanity through you. Because eventually, they also, you have been all these animals, plants, insects, every, you've been everything just to get to where you are right now. And this is the animal's first opportunity to experience what it's like to be human. So it's, you know, think about it. When, when you eat vegetables, that's a living sentient being as well. So you, it, it's doing the same thing with the vegetable. It's giving the vegetable the opportunity. And of course, you know, as empath, we feel the empathy of the animal. But we also bless the experience. So if you can find some kind of peaceful understanding between the two, it'll be okay. Um, but if you're being guided not to eat it, then don't. Um, but, you know, I, I still have my cravings, and uh, I accept the process, and I, I totally believe what Dolores and Todd are saying in relation to that. <laughs> Phil May is saying, I think I'm mislabeled as an ENTJ. <laughs> I wish I was an ambivert Michelle Lynn Dozier. I can teeter totter on it, but I keep my mom is an extrovert. And so is Rosie Neal. She's an extrovert. And I tell her, I tell Rosie that, you know, I'm an introvert. She goes, oh, no, you're not. You go out there and you do these shows. Let, let me tell you, it's not easy for me to do this. I still get the butterflies before I click going live. And my mom's the same way. She keeps saying, oh, you're not, a, you're not an, an, an introvert. You get out there. And you, she would tell me about these she would come to watch me when I was playing in bands when I was in my 20s. And I'd jump up on a table. I'd be playing the guitar and stuff like that. So I saw you doing that and shaking your butt up there. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's different. You know, I'm with a band. And it's not just me that's on stage. You know, it's everybody that's there. So I, I didn't feel like, you know, the attention was just on me. And, you know, it's a group effort. So it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like global consciousness unity consciousness you know because you're working together to create something beautiful it was different but she doesn't see it that way she's she thinks i she thinks i'm well she wants me to be an extrovert but i, I just can't it's not it's not within me and i never will be just the way it is uh, Catherine jackson is asking about shadow entities we aren't at high enough frequency to see them or sense them, Arterians probably can flush them out. I think she meant flush, flush them out and eliminate them. Or did I miss the point of this? Halo. Gosh, I, I'm not sure where that question came from. <laughs> but the shadow entities, yeah, I think they're still there. You know, those are like lower fourth dimensional entities that are just hanging out. I know I had a dream the other night where I was on the other side of the veil. And I was helping people who have already transitioned. Uh, my sister was there. She passed on in 2011. And uh, there's a lot of people that are waiting. They didn't go through that, the white light, the tunnel and all that stuff. They're on the other side of the veil waiting for us. They're going to be there too. So, you know, anybody that's that's passed on recently, you know, or at least since 2011, like Dolores Cannon and Sir Masaru Emoto and all these people, Terrence McKenna, um, there's so many people out there that have passed that aren't with us in the physical. They're on the other side waiting for us. And uh, I was just helping them understand what this process is going on right now and to hang in there and it's going to be happening so it was pretty cool yes plants are beings too they are and veggies do cry pain they actually hooked up these um diodes or something like that electrodes 
to plants and they were over this solution of it's like a some kind of brine solution that was poisonous and they put shrimp in there and the shrimp were all dying in it and the plants freaked out another time um, they had the electrodes hooked up to the plants and three people would walk by the plants and there was a head of lettuce on a butcher block the first person walks by looks at the lettuce and just keeps walking the second person walks by looks at the lettuce picks up the butcher's knife and starts chopping the lettuce and the plants that were observing this that were hooked up to the diodes there the electrodes freaked out when they saw that and then the third guy walks by looks at the lettuce and just keeps walking and then afterwards they brought each person one by one in front of the plants that are hooked up to the electrodes and the first person walks by no reaction the second person that walked by that took the butcher's knife and chopped up they freaked out they recognized that person that did that so yeah plants have energy and consciousness and so you know you know for those vegans out there that are high on their pedestal saying oh well you shouldn't eat any you know what yeah, I'm not going to tell who, anyone to do anything. God, that's not the controlling part of me. And yes, I do feel the empathy of um, animals. I also feel the empathy of the plants that we're eating too. And um, everything has consciousness. Um, do what you feel is right. And uh, do it in the name of love, with love and forgiveness. I'm going to leave it at that. so far behind on the channel. <laughs> this was supposed to be a short video too. Here it is. We've been going for almost well, an hour and seven minutes, 11 seconds. Um, yeah, I expected, you know, this would be like a 20 minute video and to let you guys all go out and have fun on your Friday night. <laughs> Sorry, I'm keeping you in. Feel free to leave <laughs> and go out and have fun. You can watch the rest tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to keep any of you from enjoying your Friday night. So I think I finally got caught up with all the comments. Yay. <laughs> that took a while. And I know there's so much I missed, too, which... I'll probably cover on the, I do an afterthoughts video um, for my Patreon people. I also do like a behind the scenes video for them too. Um, so if you subscribe to the uh, Invite D Patreon channel, um, you get to see that. Like the behind the, the first behind the scenes I did was what's in my refrigerator. <laughs> and then the, the second one I did was, um, just giving you guys a, a tour of the N5D headquarters. Um, but it's not anything that's, you know, I just put out a personal side of myself that I don't show uh, the public. So that's that's what people get on, on Patreon. But I, I would never hold back any information just for the Patreon people. Um, but they get to see a personal side of me that most people don't get to see. So that's why I do that. <laughs> Lee Ashley says, we don't want to go out. That's good. Uh, Nancy G, I love your necklace. Yeah, this is the... There it is. I love the colors. Mm -hmm. I just love the colors. That's why I got this one. It's similar to the one that fell off me that I'm raffling off on my Patreon channel. That's the, the, the E-Force Flower of Life one. That just... There's no explanation explainable reason why this thing and how this thing fell off my neck um, but apparently somebody else is supposed to have it and i'm raffling this off on to anyone who donates on on the uh patreon in 5d patreon i'll be raffling that off but yeah I, I just love the colors on this one that's why i bought this one it's like purple and green it's just like all high vibrational colors
So I guess I want you guys to, and I've been saying this for several years now, I've been told by my guides, creator, source, universe, my whole posse has been telling me to keep putting this message out there because it's so important. Number one, love. It's the most important thing. The random acts of kindness that you do will be one of the most amazing things that you'll see in your life with you. And don't do it because you want to see some amazing thing. Do it out of the kindness of your heart. Be nice to other people, you know? When I do my love bubble meditation, I envision that everybody's family and everybody I, I, that comes into my presence, I see a grumpy man walking on the beach towards me. I'm thinking, oh, that's Uncle Joe. He's always grumpy. And I'll smile at him and I'll say good morning to people, but I'm also inside saying, I love you. Now, this isn't something I'm doing because I want to see it on my life review that I'm sending love out to everybody, but you do, you do it because it changed, the whole energy changes. Everything changes when you put out the love vibration. Um, and you can do that at any given time. You know, you can, whether you're walking in the mall, imagine that love bubble. And everybody in the mall is family. And when you look at everybody at family, it changes the energy. And tell people telepathically, I love you. It makes a huge difference. So that's number one. Number two is something that Dolores Cannon said is the quickest way to overcome karma is to forgive. So forgive anyone that's hurt you or that you've hurt in the past. It's really important to forgive yourself as well, but um, forgive. Because that, that is the number one way you can overcome having to do crap over again. And I think, I don't think any of us will have to worry too much about that. But, you know, if it, there is some kind of life review that is still involved before we go to 5D Earth or the New Earth, um, you'll have all that stuff already taken care of, you know, where you've already given out that forgiveness. You're going to be so many steps ahead. So it's just the right thing to do, you know, anyway. So you don't, don't do it. If you're forgiving, once again, come from the heart. And the number one thing is love. So you have to love, but when you forgive, forgive from the heart too. Just don't say it without the heart, bring the heart into it. Okay. Number three, gratitude. The universe loves gratitude. That's why I do my walk of gratitude as often as I can and uh, got an article on it and you can, I wrote out everything that I say on my walk of gratitude. I, I thank creator, source, universe, spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, higher self and mother earth. And I do Ho'oponopono, which is thank you. I love you. Please forgive me. Um, and I'm sorry. Um, and I do, I don't do it in that order. It's thank you. I'm sorry. Actually, I go, uh, I start out with thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And I love you. I do it in that order. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, but um, put it out there. Um, express that gratitude. And I encourage people to take whatever I do on my walk of gratitude, change it around, add other people in there. If you want to add your you know, archangels or Jesus or use the word God, go for it. You know, make it make it yours. I just don't <laughs> resonate with them. Sorry, it's just it's too religious for me. I keep away from the religion side of spirituality. So, but um, if you want to do that, do it. Make it yours. Own it. Uh, so we have love, forgive, express gratitude. Uh, number four is to maintain a high vibration. Do stuff that makes you happy. Get out there and or stay in whatever it is that's that's going to make you happy. Do high vibrational activities that you know, dance, sing, play music, go for walks in nature, you know, just do whatever it is that's high vibrational. If you love cooking, cook and put that energy of love into whatever it is you're making and share that love with others. 
And the last thing is grounding, number five, to ground, to make sure that you are grounding. And as we talked about earlier, uh, try to ground also, make sure you're grounding yourself into 5D Earth as well. Envision, put those thoughts and intentions out there of having this amazing world that we're all going to share and co-create. And just those um, thoughts and intentions are helping to co-create it. So. Oh my gosh. And once again, I, you know, I'm so far behind on my chat. I thought I got caught up and apparently I'm way behind, but you know what? It's been an hour and 15 minutes. I didn't mean to keep you guys that, that long on a Friday night. And I'm so grateful that, you know, to everyone that's watching, whether it's, um, you know, for everyone watching live or on the recorded version on YouTube and, uh, I want to remind you guys to, like I said, subscribe to the N5D newsletter. I have two different newsletters. Um, I have one that gives you the daily um, articles in one, all, whatever I publish throughout that in that day, you get them all in one email. And then I have a weekly one where you get like 25, 30 <laughs> articles in one email for that whole week. So um, subscribe to either one of those and you won't miss anything because of Facebook shadow banning um, me. Like I said, I put out like five or six articles today and chances are you didn't see any of them. Um, special thank you to everyone that's um, supported me on Patreon. I, I really do appreciate that and thank you for that. So I just want to send, I'm going to end it, end it off right here and um, so grateful for everybody um, that has joined me here uh, tonight on this Friday evening. It's going to be okay. You know, we're all going through that. Um, the the whole shadow self, um, things coming up and uh, just stay positive. And like I said, remember those five things I just told you and everything's going to be okay. So I'm sending you all infinite love and light. I'm so grateful that you were able to spend this evening with me. Namaste.